And let's be truthful about it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. You need to leave. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe it is. Well, no, consider it's Jews about a different race. But it's it's not about race. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store, get the merch link in the description section. You can also put in Tatum Store. I'll shorten it up for you so you don't have to write all that stuff. Text Tatum to 53445. Text Tatum to 53445 and use promo code Tatum2023 and you'll get 20% off the entire store. But make sure you text Tatum to 53445 because I want to keep you connected. I want to get you guys on our text list so you never miss a, a show. You never miss a, a merch drop. You never miss anything. You will stay connected. Um, every single time that uh, I have something to put out. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live, make a video. Y'all already know, dude, let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, Whoopi Cushenberg decided that she was going to say something else about, uh, 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 I didn't want to talk about this because I, I didn't want to get myself in trouble, but, you know, hey, look, the truth got to get out there. She ended up getting in trouble because she said something else about the you-know-what with the you-know-what people. Let me just put it on the screen so you can read it yourself. So she already didn't say it too much. And I think she came back again and had made reference that, you know, it was easier for Jewish people to blend in with than it was for black people. So the, ne the Nazis and the racists were attacking black people more so and that black people had it. And I'm paraphrasing that black people had it worse than Jewish people. And going down the path, she needs to just let it go because no matter what she say, you, we all know it's off limits. You cannot talk about certain groups of people in this country. Um, it's the problem. The problem with it is uh, there's so many issues, and I'm yes. a fan of Whoopi Goldberg. I've always been a fan of her, uh, but there are so many issues. What she's saying it does reveal an awful lot about the confusions that people have around anti-Semitism that are explored yeah. in my book. And the principal, one of the principal things going on here is the resistance to the idea that anti-Semitism is racism. And I think, what does Whoopi Goldberg think it is? Well, I think what a lot of people think it is, is religious intolerance. And the problem with that is, I'm an atheist and the Gestapo would have shot me tomorrow. My great uncle Arno, who died in the Warsaw Ghetto, was not an observant Jew. And indeed, now, it's not just the, the, the Holocaust. Now, neo-Nazis marching with torches saying the Jews will not replace us in Charlottesville, they would not ask a Jew whether he kept kosher before they set light to their house. They're not interested in faith, and the Nazis were not interested in faith. They were interested in racial purity. That's what the laws, the Nuremberg laws, were. they were racial purity laws. But that, that comment suggests that there are people who think racism is only about the colour of your skin. Yeah, no, that's true, and there's a specific thing that I think is going on here, which is, you know, Jews, uh, the whiteness of Jews mm. is a very complex thing. I use this phrase in the book, it's a bit early for this, but anyway, called Schrodinger's white. So what I mean by that is Jews are seen as white or non-white depending on the politics of the observer, right? So far-right groups, and y for years and years, centuries, have seen Jews as not part of the white races, absolutely part of Hitler's project, to say Jews are not part of the Aryan white races. But meanwhile, on the other side, on the far left, the association of Jews, which is a racist thing with power and privilege, makes them kind of super white. And what that ends up with, it's similar to, to be honest, in the Black Lives Matter thing with mm. saying all lives matter, because it takes away from the specifics of the racism to something very bland and general, like man's inhumanity to man. OK, but what's going on here is actually a very particular type of genocide. She talked on Stephen Colbert's show about two sides fighting. This was not two sides fighting. This was an ethnic group being marked out to be destroyed Eliminate. by a military yep. industrial machine. And, and she just dumb to start with. But some of the comments is what shocked me. And it's interesting because The View have to make so many corrections. They have to apologize so many times. I got a highlight tape of apologies. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. So you can show that part to your friends them that think the view is on point. But just, just the people that are, the stuff that they're saying about Whoopi. Like, I, I get it. I get what she said. She's ignorant in her statements. But, but, but I feel like it's the same thing. With, yeah, some, some, yeah, some people just going too far. Why can't you just chalk it up and say, she's an idiot. She don't know what's going on. Instead, this individual will say, so after a supposed apology earlier this year, Whoopi Goldberg doubles down on her vile remarks that the Holocaust was not about race and instead white on white violence. Someone get this ignorant fool off the air. 
And just imagine if somebody else called a black woman an ignorant fool. Once again, Whoopi insists on uh, dismissing the Holocaust as a mere white on white crime rather than the industrial or uh, yeah industrial scale murder of European Jews. Um, history, history, history's oldest and most toxic hatred. I mean, I get it. I get it. She's a, she's an idiot. She's an idiot. But really, y'all, y'all, it, I, I just think that part is a little too much. Now, let me move on because I want to play the highlight tape of literally them having to apologize for just about everything they say. They said in the article that I just read that they had to apologize over three dozen times and make legal notes because they're wrong. But I'm going to play it because I don't want nobody to say Brandon Tate don't know what he's talking about. Wrote a clip. Oh, okay. So you have to read this thing. Oh, I've got a legal note. I do have a quick legal note. you got to milk this cow. Yes, I have a legal note. <laughs> do you have a legal note again? Oh, I do. Funny. Wow, another Wait, one. Two of I ha- them. I, ha- oh, I, ha- I have two girl. legal notes. Ginny denied any conflict of interest between her activism and her husband's work on the Supreme Court. Well, she, she doesn't talk to him at night. That's my legal notes. But let me say this very quickly. Ginny Thomas has denied any conflict of interest between her activism and her husband's work. you got a, oh, a legal note. Legal I have note. a legal note. Trump denied Esper's claims about wanting to shoot protesters. I have a legal note. No. Simon Lviv denies serial fraud and said he would proceed with a lawsuit for defamation. Congressman <laughs> Loudermilk has denied any wrongdoing. You have a legal note. Roy <laughs> Moore <laughs> and <laughs> Representative <laughs> Matt Gates <laughs> have denied any <laughs> wrongdoing. Uh-oh. Here's another one. Turning Point USA <laughs> has condemned the group of neo-Nazis and said they have nothing to do with the organization. But you let them in. President, open your you let them in and you knew what they were. We want to make clear that these demonstra- demonstrators were gathered outside the event and that they were not invited. We apologize for anything we said that may have been unclear on these points. My bad. Yeah, your bad whippy cushion. Ain't that interesting how they just get away with just saying whatever. I think the gist of the story is that they, they continue to lie on the view they continue to be misinformed, uninformed, and biased. And I and I just wanted to throw that out there because I saw my mother-in-law sent me that video of the legal note thing. And they just continue, continue to be a whack organization, in my personal opinion, based on Whoopi Cushion and the rest of the women up there uh, uh, just spouting off whatever comes to the top of their head. Anyway, like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out of here.